Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be adding a design to a basketball panel. So first, let's make the design. Alright, some things you will need um, is your basketball panel template, which you can find on my website at craftsmadepersonal.com. And um, you want to find your images that you would like to um, put within your panel. So I have this picture of Luca um, shooting the basketball. I also have the team's logo, and I have this lightning design that I want to add to the background. All right, so first you want to take your template, and you want to, what, what I'm going to do is add some color to it. And I'm working out of Silhou Silhouette Studio. So for those of you who want to follow along, you can use your Silhouette Studio design um, program. And this is the business edition. All right, so you can go up here. I'm going to add some color to this. You can um, go up here to change your color, which is the fill panel. Find your color here. Or you can go to the right-hand side panel in this, the fill panel. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click my dropper tool. Make sure your, um, your basketball panel is selected. And I'm going to take the dropper tool and try to get this color that's within this logo. And see now my panel is that same color. And if you notice right here around the edge, the line color is red. I don't want that. So I'm gonna go to my left side to the line style panel, line color, and I'm gonna select this right here, none. So it went away. All right, so now I'm gonna put Luca on here somewhere. Well, actually I want something in the background. So I'm gonna do the lightning first. Okay, so I have that, I think, pretty much where I want it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my panel and copy it because I think I'm going to crop this. And how you do that is you select both, click and drag both, go to your right side, and go to your um, modify panel and hit crop. All right, so now what that does is it gives you that shape of your basketball panel. I'm going to just right click and hit group so we can group all these little pieces together. And now since I copied my panel, I can right click and hit paste in front. So now you have it exactly where it was before. Right click and I'm going to send it to the back. And I'm going to add Luca here somewhere, maybe right here. The Maverick symbol. Let's bring Luca down some more. And uh, just a tad bit more. Maybe I'll make the logo a little smaller so I can read just the bottom here. <clears throat> All right, and I have his name, Luca, and I'm going to put this right on top. So that looks pretty good to me. So now you have your basketball panel design. And you can just click and drag and hit group. Okay, now I'm going to take this up to my workspace. And this um, area here is an eight and a half by 11. So how you change the size of that or to make sure it's the correct size you want it, you go over here to your uh, page setup. And right here is the width and height, which is eight and a half by 11. So that's the right size that I want it. That's what size um, paper I'm gonna print on, which I'm using today, Craft and Besties transfer paper, the dark um, brand. So I'm gonna just click this image right here. You can rotate your image and I'm going to get it to fit within these lines so all you have to do is angle it in order for it to fit there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to print it out and then cut it and then I'll show you how to apply it to your basketball okay so for this part you would need the basketball of your choice um, and I chose the and one basketball which I got from Walmart 
And a side note, you would have to adjust your panel template according to your basketball. Because just like clothing, no two shirts are sewn the same, no two pants are sewn the same. So just the basketball is the same way. So um, you do have to adjust your panel um, to match your basketball. Um, you also need your X-Acto knife. And I must say that it needs to be sharp. And that's for when we clean it up at the end, you, it won't leave any jagged edges. We also need our Craft and Besties transfer paper, dark. And um, this leaves such an awesome uh, bright image once you print it out on your regular in inkjet printer. All right, so um, let me go print out my image and we will get started. All right, now that we have our image printed out, we're going to take our X-Acto knife and we're going to trace around it. And so you just go around the edge, um, stay as close to the edge as possible. Or you can use your scissors to um, cut it out, but I use my X-Acto knife because it gives a more clean cut. And just go all the way around, all the way around until you get back to where you started. Or until your complete image is cut out. We're almost done. All right, so I have it cut out. <clears throat> and let's get our basketball. All right, so we're going to find an empty panel, or you can put it on whichever panel you would like. I'm just going to find an empty one. This one right here. You'd kind of just want to line it up and just get an idea of where you're going to place your image. And that fits great with a little, just a little bit of overlap so we can trim up later. All right, so with this, you want to just peel off your backing. have to have some fingernails for this. I just peeled it off or got it. All right, just peel off the backing and line up your image where you would like it. All right, looks good, looks good. Okay, so I think I'm going to have it placed right here. And then I'm going to start using my heat gun to tack it down. And you just need a little bit of heat to tack it down. Just the tip part of the template. So once you put the heat, apply the heat to it, I don't know if you can hear me, but once you apply the heat to it, you want to just tap it, okay? So you heat it, tap and go. And you will start to see the ridges of the basketball come up through your template. 
All right, we're gonna just continue to do this. Heat and tap. a little wrinkle so I'm just going to just pull it just a little bit to get that wrinkle out then I'm going to apply my heat again to that area don't pull too much because it will um, distort your image all right let's do this forget to stop and take out your wrinkles this requires patience I must say but you can do it Trying to pull it down as I go, just a tad bit as I go. Trying to tack down the middle and work your way out. Ooh, that is hot. I see a wrinkle that I'm going to fix that. I'm going to pull it as I go. And pretty much you just keep doing the same thing just keep doing the same thing all the way down until you get it all on your basketball all right so after you've adhered your transfer paper onto your ball what i like to do is go back around it with my heat gun and just heat up the edges that way i can see it's the line that black line like this line right here i can see the ridges of it coming through just heat it up just a little bit just so and tap so you can see those lines that's going to help you cut a more straighter line to clean it up at the end
And y'all thought the heat press was hot. This is hot. got it all and you just want to check all the way around just to make sure you can see it all if not you can always go back with your heat gun and reheat it okay all right so i have my exacto knife and this one i got from dollar tree and it allows you to um, break off the tip of it so you can get a new part of the blade. So I'm going to go ahead and do that starting off. Okay, so now that we have, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm going to lift this up a little bit. And I'm just going to start my cut. I don't know if you can see that small slice that I did right in there. So now I'm going to just cut along that line, that black line that I, I saw, well, that I can see. You want to add pressure, but you don't want to add too much pressure where you would puncture your basketball. All right, and just go all the way down until you, all the way around until you're done. So now that I'm all done with trimming up my edges, this is what it looks like. And also, another tip is you can use a black permanent marker. This is the wide tip. You can use a smaller tip. I will suggest a smaller tip, but um, use a black permanent marker to also help you clean up your edges. So if your hand isn't steady and you happen to get like a small um, area of orange of the basketball showing, just take your black mag magic marker and clean it up. But this is what it came out like. And the last step, very last step is to apply some triple thick. I got this, I think, from Joann's. Can you see it? Yeah, from Joann's. Is it blurry? Yeah, from Joann's. And you just want to take your brush. I have a foam brush. And I'm just going to pour some on there and seal it. This is what I seal it with. So I just pour some in one spot. And do oh, grab the wrong thing <laughs> and do small sections. And take your time because you don't want this thing all over your ball. You want to try to keep it neat. Kind of hard to work in the camera and <laughs> see what I'm doing. Oh, see, dripped just a tad bit. Okay. 
You just want to swipe down. I'm taking the edge of my brush just to clean up any that dripped off into the black area. Right, and you just want to do that all the way down, trying to do even strokes so that it looks nice when it's done drying. All right, so here's the finished product. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Bye.